Mike Cardano with Roto Experts and the Fantasy Sports Network here with you on this Wednesday, April 23rd. And for those of you new to this segment, I'm here to put the odds of winning daily fantasy baseball matchups today in your favor. Now, a lot of people have been asking me how I choose my pitchers and how I decide when it's appropriate to pay up for an ace or when it's better to go with a lesser known pitcher with a good history against active batters or a young pitcher who's on a roll. Now, much of this depends on the site you're playing on. If you're playing on FanDuel, for instance, most times you have to really nail your pick because it's a one-pitcher format. On DraftKings, it's a two-pitcher format, so it's a little more forgiving. A site like Draft Street uses a three-pitcher format, and it's not really even possible to field a team with three studs and still fit it under the cap. So really, you need to understand the format of whatever site you're playing on and let that guide you. Now, looking at some of today's matchups, there are a number of pitchers who have had success against the active batters from other teams, and they come at all different price levels to choose from. Braves players are only hitting 216 against Marlins starter Nathan Avaldi in 74 at bats. Orioles players are hitting just 212 in 66 at bats against Dustin McGowan. In 186 at bats, Rockies hitters are hitting just 210 against Matt Cain. Zach Grinke is the most expensive pitcher on sites this evening, and for good reason, he's faced opposing Philadelphia batters 113 times, holding them to a 221 batting average while striking them out 26% of the time. And Gio Gonzalez will save you a nice chunk of change if you're looking for a pitcher with a resume not named Grinke this evening. Angels batters have faced Gio 71 times, and they haven't been able to sniff him. He's held them to a 169 batting average while striking them out 34% of the time. So those are some of the candidates I'd be looking at tonight. Obviously, Ricky and Gonzalez are the most preferable if you can fit them in price-wise. Hitters, you're gonna need hitters, right? Well, Brandon Phillips is 11 for 32, hitting 344 against Pirate starter Charlie Morton. So he should be a member of your daily lineup today if you can afford it. Now, the Royals are at Progressive Field to take on the Indians, and there are some decent hitter matchups on both sides of that one I'd be looking at. Royals left fielder Alex Gordon is 12 for 34 with three doubles and a home run against Cleveland starter Justin Masterson. And Nick Swisher is 5 for 14 with a double and two home runs against Royals starter Jason Vargas. Pablo Sandoval and Brandon Crawford have both had success against Rocky starter Tyler Chatwood. Each is hitting 417 with five hits and 12 at bats. But two of the Pandas hits have been long flies. Now this one's at Coors Field tonight where long fly balls are no stranger to the stadium, which is good for the Panda, but it's also good for Troy Tulowitzki. While Matt Cain has decent overall career numbers against the Rockies batters overall, he does not against Tulo, who is quite comfortable in the batter's box against him. Tulowitzki comes with a price, but he's 19 for 60 batting 317 with 10 extra base hits, including four home runs against Matt Cain. You've got two chances to win today with a slate of afternoon games, and there should be no weather concerns with some rain forecasted in Seattle and Milwaukee, but both those stadiums have retractable roofs. Now, that doesn't mean, however, that you shouldn't be double-checking your lineups at the last minute to see who's in or out. That's something that needs to be a ritual if you're going to be participating in daily gaming. Now, for more daily fantasy coverage, tune into Sirius XM Fantasy Sports Radio Series 210 XM87 for the first word in daily fantasy with an entire hour dedicated to the day's daily fantasy gaming with Dr. Roto and Tony Sincata, along with daily fantasy industry heavyweights Drew Dinkmeyer and Mike Leone, and some of the most well-known daily fantasy players in the space. So be sure to tune in for that. And if it's fantasy you want while you're getting ready for work or commuting to work, tune into the Roto Experts in the Morning Show with Scott Engel and Adam Ronis from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, weekdays, right here on the Fantasy Sports Network or on Sirius XM Fantasy Sports Radio. And for those of you on the West Coast, we'll replay the show here for you on the network during your 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. time slot. Now, the first ever Fantasy Sports Network is here. You're watching it right now, and you can now take it with you wherever you go. The new Fantasy Sports Network mobile app is your season ticket to the latest fantasy news, information, and analysis. Get access to the live stream of television programming, along with a suite of in-depth articles, on-demand videos, and podcasts. Fantasy Sports now goes wherever you go. The Fantasy Sports Network mobile app, available now on iTunes. And good luck to all of you in your daily games today, except those of you matched up head-to-head -head against me. I hope you lose. 
And for those of you in a tournament with me, I'm rooting hard for you to win some money at second place. And please don't take any of my ill wishes to heart. Remember, this is just fantasy.